Today, I'm going to be feeding this squirrel to my dog. Maybe I'm going to have to enjoy a little snack too. <laughs> Keeping him from hurting other people. Oh, never mind. You got to take care of this stuff. Got this little chip from the trail camp. He didn't even care. Oh, I'm bleeding. See, this is the part of the urban rescue ranch that people usually don't get to see. What's up, all you epic Minecraft pranksters? It's me, Uncle Farmer Dad Ben. And this is my son, Kevin. He has a demon. As you can see, he has a little bit of elbow. Oh, got me in the little, got me in the wrist there. That was fun. But look how beautiful this man Man is. This is what he does when he can't get his way. When he's angry at me, he'll just attack the fence. And then I'll walk in here and I'll be on his side. What is this? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. What is this little thing I found on the ground here? Do you guys know what this is? What is this? Oh, it's probably from one of the little chew toys. But yeah, guys, we're having an amazing day today. And Kevin uh, loves to play with little balls. See? Kick it. Oh, oh, there he goes. He got it. He got it. Oh, isn't that fun? Once he grabs something that isn't me, he likes to run around in circles and then try and press it into me because he thinks he's biting me. He's not the smartest little man, but he is very handsome and cute. But now that he has this ball in his mouth, he's been rendered incapacitated. He can't really do anything. See, he can't bite me, he can't hurt me. As long as he's got that ball in his mouth, he's cured. I cured Kevin. This cured Kevin's depression. As you can see, you guys, I cured Kevin's aggression. Dropped you there. As you guys can see with just a little ball that he's trying to put in my back pocket now, I actually cured Kevin's aggression. Take a look at that. Now this ball I'm going to be using for the rest of the year as a means of controlling him and keeping him from hurting other people. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh there it is. Excuse me. Oh, okay. But yep, Kevin's still evil and my arms are still very fried. Take a look at this, you guys. The camera is way better at night. This is my adorable little queen. Pretty soon these lights are gonna turn on in the barn. Everything's gonna look great, but I have an issue, you guys. I can't find Poppy. Something keeps eating all the food that's in here. So I have to assume that something is getting in here and messing with Poppy. Either that or Poppy, who we know has a few little babies in her pouch, is walking around and exploring, which is what they do when the weather starts to get warmer. And like I said, you guys, Poppy's a wild animal. So we treat her like any other wild animal and we trap them and talk about them for a video and then release them. So I'll go take one of the traps from the back there and set it for them. Also, the pigs are doing really well. I went ahead and employed this little thing that I've been saying that I'm gonna use for years. This is our little pig enclosure. I'm gonna get a little shelter in there for them this weekend, but it's not gonna rain or get cold at all in the next several days. Look at these adorable little babies. They like to root up and then eat up the dirt. I like to throw a ton of food in here. And then when they poop here underneath this tree, it feeds the tree. And then, oh, look at little Petunia. But them poop in here feeds the tree. And eventually the tree's gonna drop a bunch of pecans, which are gonna feed the pigs again. And we're gonna have this nice little sustainable setup with these adorable little baby boys. Take a look at this. Now they have all the water they want and they drink it right out of here like this. Isn't that awesome? You can just bite on this and they can drink it. And they can't push this over, which is the most important thing. It's so easy for them to push this thing over. And they already immediately knew how to use it. Look at this adorable little baby. But Petunia is very cute and handsome. Uh, little Hamilton is warming up to me slowly, but I need to spend a lot of time in here just sitting with him, giving him food. He was like this from the beginning. They all love little belly rubs. And little Petunia, if I scratch her in the belly, she'll typically just fall right over. Take a look at this. But here's our nice, empty, large enclosure. This is about a half acre that I've gone ahead and fenced in. I did all this by myself in the last video. Pretty nice. It took me basically an entire day to do this. The garage for the little quad guy is doing real nicely. I've been able to use that to get feed around and feed all the animals. And our pumpkin patch is doing really well. I can let Karen and Kevin out here and they don't have to walk here through all this nasty globbly gloop. Like I said in the last video, we can use that fence to separate all the animals from the pumpkins when they start growing. But also, as you can see, there's little tiny bits of glass like this that could potentially hurt an animal. Whoa, looks like we got something in the trap. <laughs> well, 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 well. Okay, so some triggered this one, but there's nothing in there. And then something definitely got in here, nibbled on this turkey leg and wasn't able to trip it. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one back for Poppy. But what is that in, oh, it's a squirrel. What? Queen captured a squirrel in the trap? 
sus imposter among us queen captured the squirrel in this trap i bet you guys didn't think you'd be getting a squirrel creature feature right now queen get away from here i don't want her to get fleas most of them have fleas she's a little dupus but yeah this is uh the squirrel and it came in here i think to just sniff the meat that i had in here but obviously it can't really eat it and it doesn't look like it's been nibbling on it at all what is up you guys it's me uncle farmer dad ben today i'm gonna be feeding this squirrel to my dog this is the urban rescue ranch Oh, I'm not going to do anything mean to this squirrel because this is the Urban Rescue Ranch. Far be it from a prospective wildlife rehabber to just feed a squirrel to his dog. <laughs> you didn't think I was actually going to do that, did you guys? Come on, go. Little dingus. Look at this little man trying to find his way out when there's literally just a wide open door. Are you a little bit slow, little fella? There's a wide open door right here. There's a wide open door. You can just come right through here. Come on, buddy. Come on. You slow? Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. Nature is healing. Hey, no, queen, don't run after her. She's a friend. We've seen raccoons. We've seen coyotes in the back field over there. I think that there's deer that come through here, and I know there's wild hogs in the creek way back there, and eventually I'm going to take you guys into the creek. But take a look at that, you guys. Look at that purple sunset. Wow, Waco, Texas. Who would have thought? Hey, got this little chip from the trail cam. Now we're going to be able to see what was on here. Queen, don't make me ask you again, girl. Don't make me do it. Get on in there, boy. Isn't this just magical? Now we can go ahead and get the rest of the lights and wrap them around this entire thing. And that's why this shipping container is going to have a ton of solar panels on top of it. And we also might be able to just have solar panels on the ground here because we know there aren't going to be any animals around here, just plants. Isn't this just magical, you guys? Well, that's funny. The ducks just went right back inside. But this will be the new Karen and Kevin and Kyle enclosure. They're just going to be in here. And pretty soon, guys, we're probably going to rehome Kyle. This way, though, they can have their little nest right in here. And whenever they lay their eggs, I can just open it up real quick. Use that riot shield for Kevin right there. And then we're really going to be... Whoa! Is that hit rapper and artist? Da baby, Hit rapper da baby. Oh, no. da baby. They must have got you locked up for something. Are you planning to release a new album sometime soon, sir? Look at these little adorable paws. How about we just give the baby a mani pedi one of these days? But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up in there for Poppy. Okie doke, that's perfect. And then we'll do a catch and cook. <laughs> catch and cook possum and several babies. Urban Rescue Ranch gone evil, evil ending, Poppy dies. Oh, where, oh, where has my Poppy gone? Oh, where, oh, where could she be? Poppy, I've got tons of dog food for you. Morgan and Queen are still in love, but they spend a lot less time together because Morgan has been spending more time with Donald Trump. Uh oh, drop this on the ground. Pretty soon I'm gonna go ahead and put nesting boxes in here now that it's laying season again, and we're gonna start incubating all of their eggs. But isn't this beautiful, you guys? Now just imagine these lights all over the entire property hooked up to sustainable solar powered energy. Aw, what's that? You don't think old Uncle Ben can hook up sustainable solar energy? I'm talking the power of the sun. Aw, you think I didn't drop this whole bag of feed over the fence on purpose? You don't think this adorable state-of-the-art barn that homeless people living in it and sleeping in it at one point is a safe place for my animals? Aw, what's that? You don't just drop 50 pounds of feed into a large livestock bucket for your three small Rhea? Look, she's barely even limping anymore, guys. Swelling's gone down a lot, but there's still a tiny bit. I'm gonna keep monitoring her, and if it ends up getting any worse, then I'm gonna call the vet and have them come out. But I'm gonna be real with you guys. Vets really just be coming out here and being like, hmm, yep, it's a little swollen. Uh, that'll be $100. Vets be like, hmm, let me take a look at that. Yep, definitely a little swollen. Um, yeah, you're gonna need to give me $100 for this, at least. Okay, here's a little look under the pad for you guys. Do you see anything? See anything under there? I don't see anything under there. We're getting real close. Wow, look at that. Look at that view. Look at this. Wow, take a look at that, you guys. See, this is the part of the Urban Rescue Ranch that people usually don't get to see. This is the beautiful part of the Urban Rescue Ranch that you really kind of have to pay a little extra for, if you know what I mean. Let's take a look at that. What's under there? What's under there, Karen? I think she may have just kind of like sprained her ankle, perhaps. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist a baby? Sir, it's so nice to see you. I wonder if tree frogs will come at some point and lay their little eggs in here. Maybe we'll have to go and get some tree frogs and bring them here to the property for Karen and Kevin to eat. 
The baby, are you enjoying a little change of diet, sir? Are you enjoying a little bit of sweet feed for your little palate, your adorable little the baby palate, sir? Are you enjoying that? Looks like you're enjoying that adorable little meal. Don't mind if I do. Maybe I'm gonna have to enjoy a little snack too. <laughs> Nibbling on this food, looking around, being adorable. I'm gonna have to just come in from the side. Just eat his head. Oh. Look at him. Baby really just doesn't think about anything. He really just doesn't care. Look at this. Oh. But it doesn't look like he's in a crazy mood for playing right now, which is okay. Now let's go ahead and check out that game camera footage and head on inside. I'll show you how the indoor animals are doing, and then we'll give you guys a nice little kiss goodnight. But look at Donald Trump, you guys. He's a happy little man. He likes to go in here and swim around. And for those of you that don't think we're in the city, take a look at this. There's no longer a duck nest and a bunch of storage over here. Is that poggers? <gasps> Nothing quite like using a Clorox wipe to disinfect my cut from Kevin because Betadine won't sponsor me. This Clorox wipe just cured my infection. And before we dig into this adorable little thing here, look at these adorable babies. The female is now a friend of mine. She actually doesn't mind when I scratch her. Look at that, you guys. That is serious, serious progress. Didn't think this would happen so quick, even though it's been like a month. But look at that, guys. She loves to bite me. She likes to play. She's really sweet. She didn't bite too hard. Look, this is how I pick him up. He didn't even care. Ooh, I'm bleeding. But look. So she'll easily be able to jump up out here and then climb out. So I put this thing right here so she can get back in. And she's actually been doing that. She's also been pooping over here in the corner. So there is a downside to having prairie dogs running amok in your home. But who cares when they look like this, you guys? Those poops is worth it. Look at how he just kind of climbs up there. Oh, look at that little butt. Look at my little plapa. See, she's not even scared anymore, you guys. Look at that. And she'll go under the couch, and then she won't let me pick her up until she's ready. She's often way too long. It takes her forever to get ready to leave the couch. So she likes to go under the couch, and the next thing you know, I'll just be sitting here, and she'll just be biting my ankles nonstop. This is incredible, amazing, amazing progress. I'm always afraid to jump on the bed because he'll just be like right here. I could easily just sit on him and just crush him. Look at, look at this little man. Oh, And he's very, very, very good about not pooping in the bed. Look at those teethers. Wow. But enough of that ballyhoo. Here's a coyote and this is a dog. It didn't have a tail. What do you guys think that is? I, I actually have no idea. I've seen it a couple times. Uh, and then here's another coyote. Here's some raccoons. Big whoop. Here's me taking puggers for a walk and my bum. Whoa, that sure was a lot of coyotes. Hopefully they won't come here and attack us in our home. Look at this little. All right, how's about you go play with your sister that just jumped out of the tub? All right, you guys, that's it. I love you, I appreciate you. How's about you get out of my room, huh? Also, the duckling is doing very, very well per usual, but I'm gonna have to wipe off the crusty butt from her little booty in the sink. And yes, I clean my kitchen. How's about we get you in the sink, little queen? So, I mean, guys, this is crusty, but you gotta take care of this stuff. This is what happens when they don't get to swim very much. She's like, please, no, don't wipe my butt, please. You have to do, you guys, when they get crusty, but you gotta wipe their butts. And if you don't do it, they'll get clogged up in there and die. But take a look at this, you guys. These eggs are gonna hatch any month now. She's contemplating whether or not to come into the room. This is her first time coming into my room. Oh, she's scared. Look at that. Look at those little hands. All right. Almost forgot to tell you guys. Ah!